I have to tell you a little bit of bad news about our election, and then I'm going to move on from the election because there are other things I do want to talk about. Do you know who stole the election from the people of Arizona? I don't, Carrie. You're the only one who hasn't accepted her loss, but please continue. But it was the Republicans running Maricopa County who stole this election. I hate to, I hate to have to even say that. It hurts me to say that. Ah, yes. When the lies about Democrats stealing the election get old and tired, and the results don't magically adjust in her favor, she turns on her own party. But she's not wrong. She lost the governor's race because, according to Newsweek, thousands of Republican voters thought Katie Hobbs was more fit for the job than her. Huh. Now, most candidates would see that as their own failure to resonate with their core audience. But guys, this is Carrie Lake. Somebody said, oh, just, uh, you know, be graceful and, and, you know, you lost, be great. No, 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 we didn't lose. You know, if I would have lost, I would be graceful. But I don't walk away when I've been uh, the victim of a crime. So she harkens back to a time when the Democratic Party looked more like today's Republican Party. And she says if JFK were alive now, he'd be a Republican. Republican or the Democrats of yesteryear? That party doesn't exist anymore. John F. Kennedy would be an America First Republican if he were alive today. She almost makes a point here. Neither party is like they were 60, 40, even 10 years ago, which is good because the government is supposed to reflect the people they represent, an idea that Carrie Lake cannot comprehend. It's no longer Republican versus Democrat. It is uniparty, which includes the Democrat party and the establishment right, versus Americanism. It's globalism versus Americanism. It's communism versus Americanism. Democrats and even some Republicans have demonstrated, especially in the recent midterm elections, that we are not interested in repeating history where discrimination permeated society and was weaponized by the government. Americans are more diverse, more socially aware, more critical of corporations and government actions. That's why we elect the Katie Hobbses instead of the Carrie Lakes. The Katies listen to our actual needs, supporting marginalized people, and making things accessible for everyone. The Carries just try to pit us against one another so they can gain power, get rich, and turn the country into a war zone. The largest standing army in the world mm -hmm. are American gun owners. Mm -hmm. We've got over a trillion rounds of ammo out there. And that fact is the only reason we're a country right now. It's really not hard to represent the people's interests in a democracy. You just have to care about the people and the job, not yourself. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Leah Cover. Be sure to check out more of my content on The Breakdown. I'll see you in the next video.